Moody the Performance Unleashed here. Got some oil cooler lines. Let's rep these. So, you have two different lines that go in a specific way, okay? Both of these lines will have a 90 degree fitting on one end, okay? One of them is much longer than the other, okay? And on this side, the side that goes to your oil sandwich plate, one of them is a straight fitting and one of them is a 45. This is important. The longer hose will go in a different area than the short one, and it has to bolt to the oil filter housing in a certain way. So let's go ahead and start these. Let's start with the longer one. The longer hose is going to bolt up here to the oil cooler, and it's going to be run in between the headlight like this, okay? And it's going to run straight down to the back, like that, okay? So, let me do that right now for you. One pro tip, when you're installing these fittings, right, and fittings are pretty finicky on how they want to go on. You have to be lined up perfectly. You can't go at any angle or you're going to cross thread. Crescent wrenches work fantastic for AN lines. They don't mar them, right? So, what I recommend you do is one hand, put some pressure on it, Turn it counterclockwise to make sure that it's lined up properly with the threads. And you see how it moved there? Now, turn it on clockwise. And you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna tighten these on all the way just yet, because we have another thing that we have to show you how to do, okay? One thing that you're gonna have to do for your oil cooler before you install anything, before you install the other line, is fill it up with some oil. This cooler will take up a lot of oil, especially with the lines. So when you go to prime everything, if you have oil in here, it just makes the process much faster. So if you get a small funnel that can fit inside the oil cooler housing, you get your Brotella, which is what we recommended before. All right, cool little handle on the side. Just put some oil in it so that you make sure it's gonna be filled before you prime your turbo. You don't want to put too much in there because it's going to start seeping out. There's not much that's going to go in this. A lot of it is in the lines, right? And of course, you know, get a little rag and work it off. If you have a smaller funnel, you know, of course we didn't have one, but if you have one that fits inside, it's a lot better. Anyways, So, like we said, this line is going to fit in here, above the power steering line, and below the um, power steering fluid line. This one's the tricky one. This is the longer one. As we said, 90 degree goes to oil cooler. Spin it on backwards to make sure that it's lined up. Make sure you're good. And then, start threading it on. You don't want to go all the way on just yet, right? because you want some flexibility. Here's the tricky part. You're going to try and move this harness as much out of the way as possible and just push this one inside, okay? It's not gonna rub against anything and it's not gonna fray because it's not stainless steel. From there, you're gonna go around the way from here in the front, oh, behind that, sorry. Yeah, all the way straight down to the oil filter housing, okay? So, just a recap, it goes around the front, right here. You don't want it to be too tight. You want some flex. Under the harness for the fan, and straight in, right? And so, from now, we're gonna take you down to the filter housing, and we're gonna show you exactly how they get mounted, because there's also a specific way that all right guys, so from the bottom, here's how this is going to look. 45 degree angle one, if you can see that, is the one going to the front, and the straight angle one is the one going to the back. Now, be, you know, as we said before, you're going to have to install one of these before the other one. This is the one you install first. 
with your crescent wrench, you're going to angle this and you're basically going to install it first. You want to make sure that it's fully tight because if you try and install the rear one, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting the crescent wrench to fit here. So this line gets installed first, then this line, okay? That's about it.